Let's now have a look at the plug out version of the SH101. In the top left corner, you have access to the preset browser. There are subfolders with the various presets. You can also click the arrow keys to navigate through the different presets. Okay. On the right here is the global fine tune control. Let me switch back to a uh, lead sound. One thing to note with all these roll-in synths is that dials need to be clicked and dragged in a circular fashion. If you click and drag vertically, it's not going to work correct. Unfortunately, there isn't an option to change this. Under the option menu here, you can choose from any of the three original colors. There's red and blue. You also have an option to switch to the System 1 layout. This might be helpful if you have that controller. I'll switch back to blue. Next are some zoom options for the interface, but keep in mind the GUI becomes less responsive in any mode other than 100%. You can set MIDI control mappings if you have the System 1. And lastly, there are some web links for Roland's online store and activation. The settings option will let you set up MIDI input and output for any of the Roland hardware. I don't have any connected here, so there's nothing to see. Help will load the PDF manual, and About will let you know the version number of the synth. Okay, so now let's look at the main controls of the synth. There's a single oscillator with pulse width modulation control. Next is a source mixer, so the single oscillator can output multiple wave shapes simultaneously. You also get a noise generator in the same section. Next is the filter section with its own filter envelope, the VCA section with its own envelope, some different trigger modes, and a tone dial. Lastly, there's three effects, a digital distortion, reverb, and delay. So clearly, different from the original synth. This lower section has a global volume control, portamento settings, bend range for the pitch bend wheel, and tempo sync for the delay unit, and LFO. Talking about LFO, this is the LFO section which can be assigned to oscillator's pitch and filter cutoff. There's an arpeggiator here, though this one is more like a simple arpeggiator rather than a hybrid step sequencer arpeggiator like the original synth. Next are two new controls for what Roland calls scatter. Roland introduced this in most of their IRA line products. Here it's mainly connected to the arpeggiator. Finally, there's a key hold and octave switch. Now this bottom row of controls you will see in the other Roland plugins as well, though with slight variations. Okay, so that was a simple look at the various sections of the SH101 plug-out synth. Next, we will dive a bit deeper and have a listen to the sound of the synth. <laughs> 